Thanks, Jim. Well, on the bright side, that string of cooler than normal days here in Kentucky the past few weeks is perfect weather for apple growers, especially to make apple cider. WKYT's Mike Linden went to Evans Orchard in Georgetown to see how their cider is coming along. That's new at six. To apple growers, cool weather means better tasting apples and therefore better tasting apple cider. At Evans Orchard, cider is made fresh twice a week throughout the fall season. During August, we had a lot of rain. And it took a lot of the flavoring out. You know, I mean, apples were not bland, but they weren't, you know, that intense flavor wasn't coming out. Cooler temperatures into and throughout the fall season is just what the doctor ordered for balancing out the cider flavor. As you get up in the middle of September and all the way through October, your, your flavoring is more intense. And it, to me, it makes a little bit better cider. Once the apples are picked, they're sorted and washed. Sweet apples are mixed with tart apples to balance out the taste. The apples then move on a conveyor belt into a grinder in the next room. From there, the pulp is pressed between rollers to release the juice that becomes cider. Over the course of an eight hour day, Evans Orchard can press enough cider to fill this 400 gallon tank up to four times. After pasteurizing, the cider is bottled and ready to hit the shelves. With even cooler temperatures on the way, the flavor of the cider will become even more intense. I definitely like the sweeter cider. Um, I think it's really good towards the end of the season. In Georgetown, Mike Linden, WKYT. Then all the apple pulp that's left over from the pressing process is put into a compost pile to be used for planting in their orchard.